All right, after Black Friday, the clock starts ticking. You know what that means. The holidays, it's on, it's on. And it's supposed to be fun, right? But from mm. the presents to the preps, it can really be a stressful time of the year, okay? All right? So we're getting some tips tonight from our mom strategist on how to get it all done. Like it or not, the hustle and bustle is here. From now until Christmas Eve, you'll be shopping, decorating, wrapping, baking, and readying your family for the holidays. It can be a lot. So many of us are thinking about how can we manage the holidays with more ease and grace. Mia Redrick says there are a few things that can help. You can start with online shopping. I will buy, you know, four or five things that I know most people love. Okay, maybe my fa favorite soaps or candles, and then I box pack gifts. Uh, in advance. So if you just pop over to my house at any time, I've got a gift for that surprise guest that came. Mm -hmm. You know, those are the things that are stressful. Somebody that shows up to bring you a gift and you don't have a gift for them. What about a gift for Aunt Anne or Cousin Charlie? The mom strategist has a suggestion for that too. A lot of people love gift cards and it's because they can choose what they want. It takes the stress away. While shopping for younger children can quadruple that stress, Redrick says technology can actually ease those crazy days or nights in Toys R Us, Target, or Walmart. Here's the deal. Kids today are very computer savvy. Parents ask your kids to do a list for you and give you the hyperlink for the thing that they want. And then it makes shopping really easy. So we just go down the list. We already have the link to Amazon or the or Lego store or whatever it is. And now we just go and click and buy it. And if you're not home for the holidays? If I'm traveling for the holidays, what I love to do is to send a fruit arrangement. Edibles is great and they ship throughout the country. I uh, typically will do that if I'm not hosting dinner uh, and I'll send it to whoever is hosting dinner. Redrick says whether or not you're creating new traditions or enjoying your old ones, Sometimes you just have to be intentional about getting everyone together to celebrate. We're all so busy, caught up in getting things done, that we forget to focus on the things that matter most, which is connecting. And she says you can do all that still staying within your budget. But you know, budgets are very, very important. 